La Pantoja is one of the most famous singers in Spain, fairly well known also in South America and the United States. Maria Isabel Pantoja Martín, popularly known as La Pantoja, has been in the public eye since a very young age. She was born in 1956 in a modest Andalusian family with a long flamenco music tradition. The family travelled extensively throughout Spain to play in small theatres and toddler Isabel was often an endearing sight as she danced along in her flamenco dress. From the age of seven, Isabel was already participating in song contests in local radio stations and later also on national TV. As time went by, Isabel grew into a very attractive teenager with her trademark long dark locks and her piercing black eyes. It was her mother, Doña Ana, who soon came to realize that her daughter had all the qualities to stand out and become a leading figure in the flamenco scene. And so it was that Doña Ana moved with young Isabel to Madrid, zealously chaperoning her to different flamenco tablaos. Isabel achieved moderate success as a dancer, but her career really took off when she started singing traditional Spanish-style music such as coplas and tonadillas. Soon after, La Pantoja gained popularity as a solo singer and she launched her first long play record. By then, she was filling concert halls and performing regularly on Spanish TV. La Pantoja was admired for her repertoire, her stage presence and, of course, her beauty. By that point, she was very close to becoming one of the most loved icons of the Spanish gossip magazines. That new chapter opened when she went backstage at the arena to meet the most popular and handsome matador of the time, Francisco Rivera, known as Paquirri. It was love at first sight for the two of them and they were unable to keep the Roman secret for too long. However, the relationship was riddled with hurdles from the start. Isabel was intent on upholding her traditional values, a chaste courtship, a church wedding, and a family life away from the stage. Paquiri was willing, but unable to oblige. He was divorced with two young children and was living with another very famous Spanish singer, Lolita, who was also a friend of La Pantoja. It took him a year to obtain the annulment of his previous marriage and just a few days to end the relationship with Lolita, who was left so heartbroken that it is said her mother, Lola Flores, a very famous singer, cast a public gypsy curse on the woman who had caused her daughter all that pain. La Pantoja and Paquirri eventually got married in April of 1983 in a wedding fit for a princess. The bride arrived in a carriage led by four white virgin mares, wearing an impressive white wedding gown with a seven meter long train, which was made by the leading flamenco designer, Lina. There followed a moving ceremony in a church packed with family, friends and fans, and a lavish banquet for more than a thousand distinguished guests. The couple lived happily and were overjoyed at the birth of their baby boy, Francisco, who today continues to enjoy life in the limelight. The family's blissful life, however, was struck by fatality only a year and a half after the wedding, when Paquiri was gored to death at a bullfight in an Andalusian arena. The tragedy shook the whole country and left La Patoja buried in a state of deep sorrow and silence for over two years.